So a system of inequalities is going to be very similar to a system of equations. The only thing that changes is the equal sign is replaced by an inequality and usually instead of um, solving algebraically now you're going to solve graphically. But we're not going to solve anything today. Today we're just going to look at this. Um, is the point a solution to this system of inequalities? Later on we'll get into you know shaded regions and and all that good stuff but right now let's just you know plug in the numbers and see if it evaluates the true or false it if if it evaluates true then it is a solution but it has to evaluate true for both the first and the second equation I'll work a couple of these examples uh, with you so you can see how it works okay first one is 3 comma 10 a solution to this system of inequalities so um, we first of all make the note that x equals 3 and y equals 10. Next, we are going to plug this ordered pair into this first inequality. So 10 greater than 3 plus 4. Let's see if this is true. That's basically saying 10 greater than 7. Uh, sorry, that's not a very good 7. I already was thinking about the check mark. 10 greater than 7. Check, that's true. So we know this is a true um, statement. Let's go to the second one. y greater than equal to 2x plus 4. Once again, x is 3, y is 10. So we're going to say 10 greater than equal to 2 parentheses 3 plus 4. So that's going to be 10 greater than equal to 6 plus 4. Oh, 6 plus 4, that's 10 greater than or equal to 10. That is a true statement as well. So this is true. So in that case, we can go ahead and say that it is a solution, and we are correct. Okay, let's try another one just really fast. Is 5 comma 5 a solution to the system of inequalities? Well, you could do... Uh, X and Y are the same thing, so that's actually pretty easy. So we're going to say Y greater than, so we're going to say 5 greater than equal to 5 plus 9. Well, that's saying 5 is greater than or equal to 14. That's not true. That's a false statement. So in that case, we can go ahead and say that this is not a solution. Check our answer. Good. Okay, I could do several more like that. I also want to show you how you could use a calculator. Um, if you're good at this point, you can just, you know, just get going. But if you want to see how to use a calculator, you could also check it using the math menu in the calculator. So give me a minute and I'll show you how this one works. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and first of all clear my screen um, from whatever I was working on. Okay, so we're going to do y greater than or equal to x plus 3. x equals 2, y equals 9. So I'm going to start by plugging my 9 in for y. So I'm going to do 9, and then I'm going to do second math, which takes me to my inequalities. Um, and I'm going to pick the greater than, 9 greater than, then I'm going to do 2 plus 3. That should evaluate to 1 for true. It does. So in this case, 1, one means true, and 0 means false. Okay, so let's try the second one. Let's try... Um, let's try to do 9, and then let's do second math. We're going to do another greater than, and we are going to test for 3 parentheses 2 plus 3. That evaluates to 0. That is not true. 0 means false. So if one of these evaluates to false, then I can go ahead and say no, it's not a solution. 
Okay, that's just another way to do it. Hopefully that helps, and if you have any questions, uh, feel free to ask me.